feel free to get me in stickering up, Zach. Oh, I will, don't worry. Hello everyone and welcome to Zach's Garage. Today and for the rest of the week you join me in France with this, the 488, but we're not only that, we're accompanied with another 488 and a plethora of other extremely cool supercars. So we are starting in some chateau in France and let me show you around the car park because believe me, it's mental. Today the plan, we're going to a track um, to do a bit of track work, obviously there's some cars that won't be like the Rolls Royces, but we, we definitely will be, so I'll wrap up some GoPros and get some cool footage. At the moment, Tom, say hello. Hi. He's stickering all the cars up because we all have to be identified for the rally, so I'll catch you guys when we're on the road. Okay, so we just got to the circuit, it's called POW, it's a really famous circuit, I didn't realise we were so close to it. It's a sort of a very hilly based race circuit, uh, mainly seen on motorbikes, so it's going to be very interesting to see the cars. Now, the cars behind me won't be doing it, we've got the 488, I'll be taking that round the track. The rollers, they'll probably be staying here, but in front of me are the cars that we have on the rally, so let me walk you around them and show you them, because believe me, some of them are pretty special. So today's been a bit of a mix up, it was all a bit of a rush, so as you guys can tell you obviously didn't see the cars where they were. We are now on the pit lane and you can see all of the crazy cars. Now every single car here has been out on track this morning, including the Phantom. Now I'm going to try and get hold of the footage but there's no guarantee I can get it, but if so it'll be inserted here. Um, I did try and get some sneaky footage of the Ferrari, um, Mr Fast from our video picking up his Hellcat, you'll see it popped up somewhere here. Um, he did some videoing, so hopefully that will be some decent quality. Oh, don't kill me, Zach. Holy Now, there is a 720S leaving just there, it's our 488. Um, this car belongs to Auto Vivendi, they're one of the head sponsors. Um, I'll link their um, website down below. Um, they rent out supercars, this is one of the supercars you can rent. SVJ Aventador, that's been going around the track, pretty crazy. Handles like a hurricane, but it's the power of the Aventador, so they've definitely got that right. We've also got a 430 Scuderia, yep. Definitely a 430 Scud, very cool, sounds epic. And as you guys can probably see, a pretty sweet number plate as well. Uh, we also have the Aventador S, which was on last year's rally, if you want to see some details of that, where we have the Koenigsegg on the rally. Uh, the link will also pop up here. Carl, this is all promo here. Um, so yeah, rather cool colour. Um, we also have the Crayon 
uh, Turbo S, we've also got the Phantom we came up with, that did go on track, it was unbelievable wallowing around, but actually handled particularly well, considering it has rear wheel steering as well, it definitely benefits from it. There's another 488 there, also driven by one of the challenge drivers for the European Cup, which is quite cool, so he can pedal that quite well. The TDF, also from last year's rally, there's a 675, which is also one of the Koenigsegg owners, and this rather lovely McLaren coming past. Okay, so now we have to begin the four hour journey up the mountains through, the, well, I'm guessing the Pyrenees. I still have absolutely no clue where we are, but it's gonna be good fun nonetheless. Um, we're staying in a lovely hotel like all the other nights, but I'm not too sure where exactly it is. We're all following one route and trying to keep up with each other. So um, there won't be much talking in this video, I guess, but I'll catch you guys when we go to the hotel or if anything exciting happens. As you saw, the road going to the hotel last night was pretty crazy. Um, it was obviously never based, it was never made to be a car bridge, and it was never made really realistically for cars to drive along. So, a nice challenge for the old Ferrari. But uh, you will notice I'm in different clothes now, uh, although still white clothes, but then you are on holiday, so. Um, today is a new day. We are heading down towards the beach. Uh, to get some cool shots, we're meeting up with some locals who apparently know the area, they know some cool roads and we can get some cool footage done. Um, there is mention of potentially now going out on a rib, so that could be interesting. Um, but at the moment we're just driving through some very pretty scenery and, well, enjoy the drive. channel will know the fact that we have a Koenigsegg. Now, you're probably wondering, well, you're driving through France, why didn't you take the Koenigsegg? Well, that's for a very simple reason. It's just because we don't really want to unnecessarily put the miles on. Actually, people forget these Ferraris are so unbelievable. I mean, we've done, what, just over a thousand kilometres in the space of under a week, and it's effortless. It's so, so easy. In the Koenigsegg, it is a little bit harder to drive, and on these roads, I tell you what, some of the roads we've done, they would not have got through. I mean, that drawbridge, there was no chance. <laughs> but, I mean, the car is hysterical. I mean, this car is a proper, proper giggle. And actually, I know it sounds crazy, and, and don't get me wrong, it's, it's very true, but when you're driving a Koenigsegg, you're very much aware of if something goes wrong, it's always going to cost you loads of money. If a wing mirror comes off, it's like 10,000 quid or whatever. 
on a Ferrari, it's still ridiculous money, but it's a lot less worry factor. Now, I'm sure by this point there's comments going, oh, you know, that's ridiculous, some of us can't afford this. Well, no, no I, I agree, you know, and people who own Ferraris don't go, oh, it's all right, I'll just take the wing off because I can afford it. If it happens, it's nice to know that it's not, it's probably 700 pounds or a thousand pounds compared to 10,000, you know? So there is that. So yeah, at the moment we are heading to the beach as I've just said. So I'll catch you guys along the route. No clue what we're doing. We're on the side of a beach, and I don't know where we are. Neither does the man holding the camera. So I guess we're just driving along the beach front, which is quite nice. It's a nice little ocean breeze. There's zebra crossings and mad French or Spanish people running across the road, which is always rather amusing. But yeah, nice place to be. For the Spanish viewers. All the French viewers, what is this? Black Label Society, there's a bunch of nuns, um, and then a bunch of death metal. Please someone tell me. So, we got to the beach. Uh, it was a beach, there was no one on it. It was very nice, very windy, nice and cool breeze. Um, but as we are in Spain, what well, better food to go eat, and an Italian supercar, than a pizza. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna go try and find somewhere to eat a really, really nice pizza. So. We're going to head into the town, bearing in mind I don't hit this road bump. Good. Um, yeah, we're going to go into the town and find some pizza. So uh, I think this is probably episode one of Food Vlog. Now, while we are trying to find the pizza place, which is somewhere in this town, I just spotted that. A rather cool little Citroen. Right, so we found a pizza place in an Italian supercar. That's quite fun, isn't it? Right, pizza time. Okay, so we've got the pizza, we've got the Ferrari, it's parked over there somewhere. Cameraman, what are you having? Fanta oh, and the margarita. A lot of cheese there. That's strong, right. In a magic click, it'll all be gone. Okay, and we are back in the car. I know it was meant to be a pizza, but I ate it too quick because I was hungry. Now we're going to go find some cool places to do some videoing and hopefully have this button here working because it is so so hot in this car. Um, thank you to the pizza place, it was very nice food. Anyway, right, off we go. Okay guys, so on the way here, there was a very nice road, but unfortunately it was in the wet, and we had no clue where it was. We've come across it, and instead of showing you by hand, we're gonna get the drone up, and I'm gonna show you how incredible this place is. So without further ado, a wiggly road on the way to Carcassonne.
Okay guys, so that is the end of the Supercar GB trip. We are now driving to Bilbao to catch a 24 hour ferry back to the UK. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I know it's been a lot of B-roll, but as you can see, it's been driven to, through some fantastic countries. So as always, make sure to subscribe and... Mm -hmm.